Yeah, and this is where that child was rushed by ambulance, observed for several hours. And unfortunately, she is one of dozens of cases so far this summer. I walked into the garage. And I was taking my shoes off. Nine year old JC Marks tells me she was heading out last week to watch the sunset with her dad when she suddenly felt a sting on her foot, like someone whacked her with a stick. But then she looked down. And I realized that was a snake. A copperhead was in the garage, blending in with the surroundings. It's right here. JC started yelling for help. It was definitely really scary. She came in and she goes, I just got bit by a copperhead. Our area hospitals reporting an uptick in snake bites. I asked for the numbers from July 1st through this past Sunday. UNC Health saying system wide there have been 70 patients, approximately 20 copperhead bites being treated across Duke Health, Wake Med helping 34 people so far this summer, which is roughly a 75% hike from the same time period last year. Wake Med ER doctor Ben German is known as the snake bite expert. He was part of a team that captured a zebra cobra slithering through a North Raleigh neighborhood and has traveled to Asia to study reptiles. He says there's likely an increase because more people are moving into new developments where there have been natural habitats. Also, we've been dealing with a stretch of brutal weather. Those two factors sometimes can get the snakes moving around a little bit more. Most of the injuries Germans seeing in the ER are on the foot and ankle. He's reminding people to stay vigilant and protect yourself. A good leather shoe will, will stop the snake's fangs from, from getting into your tissue and injecting venom. That's what happened to JC. It was swelling like all the way up to here. She's on the mend now and working towards a goal. You just want to walk. <laughs> get off those crutches. Crutches are not that fun. All right, well, luckily for JC, she should be off the crutches within the next few days, although the doctor has said that there could be swelling for several months ahead. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.